Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Expressions of Faith with Judith. I am so glad you are watching. Today I am using a printable by Beautiful Good News. And it is so timely. <laughs> it is very timely for the times we are living in right now. And the primal is about us speaking wisely, not letting any corrupt talk come out of our mouths. And I'm going to read from the Word of God. Psalms 101 and 5 says, Whoever slanders his neighbor secretly, I would destroy. Whoever has a haughty look and an arrogant heart, I will not endure. Titus 3 verse 2 says, To speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show perfect courtesy toward all people. Proverbs 16 and 28, A dishonest man spreads strife, and a whisperer separates close friends. Oh, that is so true. Proverbs 21, 23 says, Whoever keeps his mouth and his tongue keeps himself out of trouble. God cares about what comes out of our mouth, you guys. He really does. We have to be careful of the words that come out of our mouth. We have to be. Because the Bible teaches us that the power of life and death are in the tongue. But most importantly, let me read Proverbs 6, verses 16 through 19. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. Oh, yes. God hates when we, as the family of God, sows discord between each other. There is so much of that happening in this season. There is so much of that happening. I mean, people are smiling in each other's faces and gossiping and slandering their names behind their backs. I don't even know if it's ever been this bad before. I guess it has, but I just have never seen it like this in my lifetime. And I'm 60 years old. And I guess it's because we're living in an age of social media. But as children of God, we should not slander each other's names or ministries. We should not do that. And if we are offended with someone, we should not get on the telephone or get on social media and Tell everybody about the offense. Tell everybody what the person did to us or what they said about us. Because when you do that, you are sowing discord. Because the people that you're sharing it with might not be mature believers, meaning whatever you share with them because you're offended, they can become offended with the person you're offended with and they don't even know the person. So we have to be careful what we speak, but we also have to be careful what we allow others to speak to us. Because I always tell people this. You may say, but well, I'm not gossiping. But if you allow someone in your ear and they're gossiping, but you're not, you're not saying anything, you're just quiet, you're just as guilty because you're listening. God doesn't like that. It should not be like that in family. We are family. We are the family of God. 
We are brothers and sisters in Christ. And the Bible teaches us that if we have an ought against one another, if you think that your brother has something against you, or if you have something against your brother or sister, that you should leave your gift at the altar. <laughs> leave your gift at the altar. Your gift. Whatever you're doing to God. Whatever you're doing. Bible journaling. <laughs> preaching. Teaching. Writing. Praying. You should leave those things. And go be reconciled with your brother or sister first. And then come back and present your gift. The Bible tells us that we can't even be forgiven of our sins if we don't forgive others of their trespasses against us. So if we're holding offense and unforgiveness and anger and bitterness in our hearts towards our brother or sister. And then we go to God with that stuff in our hearts and gossiping and slandering people. And then we go to God confessing our sins, asking him to forgive us. He's not going to forgive us. That's biblical. He's not going to forgive us of our sins if we don't forgive others of theirs. We must speak wisely. We must speak life and not death. We must not sow discord between our brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter what I'm angry about. If I'm angry with Sister Sharon, and then I'm going to get on the phone and I'm going to call Sister Susie, and I'm going to tell her all about what Sister Sharon did to me and what she did to me and what she said about me and how she didn't speak to me and, and we we and we doing all of that. We are sowing discord between the brethren. And God is not pleased. And we need to repent. That means I need to repent and you need to repent if that's what we are doing. Because God is not pleased. Oh, this is so timely. This trauma is so timely for the season we are in right now because there's so much discord in the church so much anger in the church and it ought not be y'all it ought not be and if we are sowing those things we need to repent because we're not in right standing with God if that's the things we are doing we need to make it right with God. And we need to apologize to our brothers and sisters that we have sold discord between and even those that we have gossiped to about other people. We need to repent to them and ask them for forgiveness because we were wrong for doing that. Because just because you're mad at somebody and you don't like somebody don't mean I'm not going to like them. And I'm going to be mad at them because you don't like them and you're mad at them. That's elementary. That's little stuff my little five-year-old grandchildren do. They don't even do that. I take that back. My grandchildren don't even do that. So why are we as Christians, adults, doing that? We have to repent and we have to love one another with the love of God. We have to love one another. We're not going to always agree on everything. It's fine to disagree, to agree to disagree. It's okay to do that. That's healthy. We do not have to agree on everything. We don't have to get mad at each other because we don't agree. We have to grow up. We have to grow up and mature in the faith. And walk in love. Because the Bible says, this is how they will know you are my disciples. By your love for one another. That's how people will know that we are Jesus' disciples. is by our love for each other. 
That's the only way they can know. That's the only way. You guys be blessed. And if you're sowing discord, stop it. If you're gossiping, stop it. If you're slandering people's names, stop it. Because God is not pleased. Be blessed, you guys. And remember, it's all about Jesus. It's all about him. Everything is about him. Be blessed. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, share, click your notification bell so you can know when I upload another video. And thank you so much for supporting my channel. Enjoy the rest of the video and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.